So welcome, Joanne. How are you today? Very good, thank you. How are you? Good, good, good. Like it's good to have you here because um, we'd like to just talk about menopause and some of the things you've said has intrigued me. And yep. it'd be nice to just share, have this casual conversation about your journey and so that other people can learn about, you know, Ayurveda, the journey, what you've been through. So yep. are you okay to ask, for me to ask you some questions? Yes, most definitely. Excellent. Looking forward to it. <laughs> so we, we uh, started our journey quite some time ago on something completely different. <laughs> yes, we did yeah. years ago. <laughs> yeah. And then I think I got intrigued by your comment last week on um, on the menopause side, and we've never really talked about that. So, mm -hmm. would would you like to just share what's what's your menopausal experience and what what you've experienced in the past? Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Um, maybe I should start by saying that um, I had after I had children. Um, my menstrual cycle just went nuts. Uh, I used to have the heaviest, heaviest of, of monthly cycles. Um, oh. And that was awful. Um, and so I figured, and that, that came through the family. Um, that was a family thing. Um, and I thought, you know, that because um, I was like that, the same as, as the generations before me, that menopause would be the same. Um, uh, most of the things I've experienced and symptoms um, started before I started this course and um, they were definitely night sweats and um, sleeplessness and, mm. and those sorts of things. Yeah. Um, and, um, but then once I started doing the course, I learned how to... Um, I must admit it took me took me probably till the second round to to oh. start learning how to to cope with the sleeplessness and um and and even um I actually am not sure how, you probably know how I did it Vandana but even to the extent of not getting hot at night and so there was obviously something I'm doing um yeah. and I haven't worked that one out yet myself but there's okay. something I'm doing that's not causing the night sweats at night that I've obviously learned um, oh. And now I'm I'm sleeping really good. I still get up at night, but um, mm. I go to sleep back to sleep really easily oh, um, yeah. instead of lying in bed going. So and I'm extraordinarily proud so far that um, I seem to be in my generation before me. They all had hysterectomies. Right. Uh, and um, I haven't had to do that. And I, I obviously don't feel I need to. I don't feel I need to take any um, hormone drugs or anything like that. I don't feel like my hormones are going psycho. Oh. Uh, maybe only from the stomach. Yeah. Say that the, you know, the menopause hormones, you know, give you belly fat, but right. um, I don't feel, I mean, I know I've got belly fat, but I don't feel like I, I need anything. Yeah. To, yeah 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 so so was hit like having the hysterectomy a thought process that you had that since it's in the family generation and since you'd had heavy periods that, that would be the natural course of action that you'd have to go oh, through absolutely absolutely okay. I thought I was I was definitely going to be heading down that track wow yeah. okay and so when did you have your night sweats and the sleepless nights how long has that been going on um Probably started about 2018, right. a couple of years ago. A couple of years yeah. ago, right. Yeah. What, what were you doing to help you manage that? Chuck all the bed clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> have have oh. the fan going. <laughs> oh, look, do you know, I've, I've had a glimpse of these hot flushes come through. And I yeah. guess because I know what to do, I can course correct. But when you right. don't know okay. what to yeah. do, it's kind of going to get hard. No. Deep as what do I do? But you have some really good tools in your toolkit now as part of the yeah. course yeah. that we went through. So did you come on the menopause workshop uh, course as well with us? No, yeah. no, I didn't. I really wanted to, but um, okay. we were, it was our last day of oh, the that, shop. That's right. So, that's yeah. right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Excellent. And, and 
so it's within six months of doing it in a pharmacy course, you noticed that you were sleeping better and you weren't getting hot at night? Yes, no. Okay. Were there any other symptoms that you had, like mood swings and things like that? Oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. I was definitely very moody. Um, okay. and, uh, Paul could tell you uh, uh, tell you that uh, <laughs> I was like that, and he knew when to stay away. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting how when we can't sleep very well, our moods are definitely going to get affected. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. You, and, you, and you don't wake up feeling um, refreshed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know that, and and I think um, also with the mood swings, um, and the and of course they're not sleeping at night. Then I'm pretty sure. I would have bouts of depression too. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a flow on effect, right? It's like this cascade yeah. of things happening. Yeah. And so now that you don't have have the, the, the you have a good night's sleep, which is the main thing, right? Now yeah. that you don't have that, the mood swings are not there and those bouts of depression are not there. Would that be correct? Or Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean... Uh, Okay, there's there's times where you know you're just human, aren't you? And and, and that old habit sneaks <laughs> yeah, yeah, back in. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but on eighty nine percent of the time, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, what's be, because of that? How has that changed life for you? What has been the flow on thing that you've noticed that you think might? Wow. Okay. You know, my sleep is so critical now. Yes. Yeah. So, what's and, the flow on effect? How is it? affected your life um I'm I'm much calmer I think I I used to be well I, I still am a little bit pedantic about yeah. things having a place and all that sort of stuff but you know if the toilet seats up the toilet seats up you know if if my granddaughter is making a mess in the lounge it's oh well you know um it doesn't it doesn't affect me as much now you know okay. and I can I can live through it and, and I know that if the dishes don't get done in the morning I'll do them at night it's it's not going to be a, a bother you know mm. um, so you've got more of an easy way of being yes absolutely absolutely so, so when yeah. things just kind of come on your door get landed on your plate you don't kind of get triggered no no okay. no wow and how yeah, does that make how does that make you feel about yourself then oh amazing it makes it makes you think that you can um you know the times that those lightning bolts come and hit you yeah um yeah. that you're not gonna um burn up you know you, yeah, you're yeah. just gonna yeah. carry on and and you've got the tools to to deal with it oh fabulous yeah wow well, so this is kind of almost a a byproduct of the the just resolving the menopausal side of effects of it all is a byproduct of doing the course because that's not why you came no, 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 it wasn't. No, definitely not. <laughs> I hadn't even, thought, hadn't even thought of that when I came on. <laughs> I mean, if I if I could have sat down and listed everything that was wrong with me, then I, I would have had, a, a you know, a hundred things <laughs> to, to come on the course, reasons uh, to come on the course. <laughs> I think this is the, what I call a really big brag, you know, like yes. oh, I've done this as well. So if, in a nutshell, like I'm going to kind of just reveal a couple of things for you. Because we actually change our whole biochemistry by by working in line with the ayurvedic clock yes we sync yeah. up to the circadian rhythm mm -hmm. and when the mm -hmm. circadian rhythm is working your biological clock also works yeah, and yeah. So, okay yeah and and in ayurveda there's no such thing as um you know menopause and in, in equating to depression anxiety mood swings you know, um, hot flush, it, it, it doesn't equate to that. That doesn't equal. Yeah. Menopause just shows that, you know, you've finished poof, with the menstrual cycle. Right. If we're getting some of these symptoms, then that indicates an imbalance. And by working into the, the clock and looking at your digestion and looking at when you eat and how you eat and when you exercise, all of those mm -hmm. things contribute to coming back into alignment. Yeah. Yeah. So that's yeah. And and I, I I can see that um mm. you know how I'm I'm really life does fit into that clock now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, and it's, it's it makes a big difference. Mm, you've done exceptionally well because you're just so kind of into that whole 
knowledge base and wanting to learn and then practically mm. applying. Mm. Yeah, I keep I keep buying books and <laughs> and uh, Paul says to me, oh, no, not another one or something. And I say, look, go down into your chess room and tell me I haven't got enough books. <laughs> So you're building your library of wellness books. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Excellent, wonderful news. Well, thank you very much for today. But is there is there anything else you want to share? Because this will be posted on Facebook. Um, mm. Is there anything you'd like to share to people that are probably going through menopausal side of things that you might want to, I don't know, contribute and tell them? What's your message? I think um, you have... You really, if you're listening to this, you're interested in this course, and this course is what saved me, I think. Um, it, it really, um, even though menopause wasn't the reason, I look back now on the reasons that I, I wanted to do the course um, and all the other things that have slid into, into alignment because of doing the course. And I honestly think I wouldn't have got it if I'd only done the first 10 weeks. Yeah. I really had to do the year to, um, you know, and I've only got another couple of weeks left. And I, I feel like um, I'm coming to the end and I'm happy about that. You know, I, but in some ways I'm not as well because <laughs> I'm going to miss everyone. Um, but yeah, I feel like um, my, my life and my body are on a, on a really good path now. Oh, <laughs> So I'd like to thank you so much for your journey um, and we will stay in touch and we'll kind of get you in as a speaker within the group so you'll still be part of our group. Yay, um, I'll miss everyone. <laughs> <laughs> but you've been exceptional and people have talked about what would Joanne do, what would Joanne do? <laughs> Absolutely amazing. That's in so sharing, nice, yeah. Yeah, you're just sharing what we go through because, you know, we all go through it. Mm, so mm, you've yeah. been instrumental for that. So Thank you. May the journey you. continue. And um, thank you for your time today as well. So, oh, it's been lovely. Thank you. Uh, you take care. You too.